in today's video, I'm going to be turning a simple tent into a house in Blocksburg. So if you didn't know, I have a series on my channel where I turn different things into houses. We've done this family tent, but we haven't done the simple tent, which is the smallest tent in Blocksburg. Like this is how small it is. It is tiny. So we're going to be attempting to turn this thing into a fully functional house. But first we've got to name the plot. So I'm thinking he's ready for this joke. I don't think you're ready. I asked my llama if he wanted to go camping. He said, I'll pack a tent. <laughs> it's not my proudest joke, okay? Okay, now with any of my transformation videos, I want to work on like the surrounding area first. Like, yeah, it's going to be turned into a house, but we're going to make it luxurious. Slay! So we can have a few mountains at the back here. I want to go camping again, to be honest. I want to go with my friends. One thing about camping, especially in Australia, is that there is bugs everywhere. No thanks, I choose life. Can I set a roof here? Just like a one. Oh, I can. Beautiful. I would probably save more money if I made this into a floor, but you know what? Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make this a beachy tent. Oh, we can also add those like big fancy palm trees. I don't care how rich you are in Blocksburg. Why on earth are trees so expensive? Okay, we also need some bushes. Wait, we can resize them. What? Uh, since when? Since uh, when? Why does it kind of look like one of those like dancing Hawaiian girls? <laughs> and then finally a nice big pool right here. $40,000! Uh... It's gonna be one expensive tent house, but it's okay. Now that we have the landscape all done, I think it's finally time to turn this tent into a house. The first thing we're gonna do is color it. And because we're going with like a beachy theme, most beach houses are like blue. So we can use vertical planks in like fog. And it doesn't really matter what color the bed's gonna be because guess what? They're gonna be covered up anyway. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put a basic shape on the floor. This way we can place things on top. The only bad thing about doing this is that um it takes up majority of the space. Unless I keep one of these as a bed. Okay, ready? Let's see if this works. Like that, and then can leave this section as the bedroom. Okay, kind of works. I always have this problem when I'm turning things into houses, is I always run out of room for the bedroom, and I have a feeling this bedroom's gonna be way too big. <laughs> The bed itself is covering already half of the tent and we still need the bathroom and a kitchen and a living room. This is going to be like my most difficult one yet, I think. Okay, how about we work on the kitchen first? Technically, if I wanted to be, you know, smart, I could just use this junior play kitchen, but we can't really use it. Like, it's not very accessible unless you're a child, which we are not. Oh, yeah, this is too hard. This- Oh! <laughs> I have found myself in a little bit of a pickle. Okay, what's what's the thing a kitchen needs? Well, obviously, we need an oven, right? We need a little mini fridge. We'll add all the necessary requirements we need out here. Okay, we need a toilet. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to buy the most expensive toilet. Fancy flush trimmed toilet. And we need a shower. Wait, I can't even put... How am I meant to put a shower in here? Oh, yeah, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. You know what my problem is? I think the bed takes up too much space. So, you know what? We're going to do my original plan. We're just going to cover this entire section up. So then we can place the bed wherever we want, preferably in the corner so it takes up the least amount of room. Stupid bed taking up all my room. Now that we've got that in the corner, I feel like we can fit the living room in this corner. So I guess like to make this easier, we can go from the back and then work our way forward. I just want to take a big fat nap right on that bed right now. I was scrolling through TikToks and you know those TikToks where like these people live by the beach and they show us their like in life of living by the beach <laughs> and their life just seems so relaxing. Like, uh, excuse me, I live by the beach. Why is my life not like that. You know what guys, we're gonna have pink pillows. Don't judge me. I miss 2020 aesthetic, okay? She's kind of nostalgic. I love her. You know, back in like 2018, was it 2018 or 2020 where everyone would have like black and white houses? There were two types of Bloxburg players. They're the ones who had blush houses and then the ones who had linen or like black and white houses. I was neither because I just started playing Bloxburg last year. Say what? Also, how crazy is that that I've only been playing for like a year? It feels like it's been longer. Okay, you know what we need on my bed? Two little cat plushies. This can be Salem and this one can be Samira. There we go. I've got Samira and Salem on my bed. Also, for like lighting, I haven't figured this out. I mean, we can use a floor lamp, but nah. What we're gonna do is cover the back wall with horizontal wedges. This way you can actually like place things on the wall. I know, call me a genius. They actually call me Alaska Violet. Actor, activist, scientist, rich Bloxburg mom, Nobel Prize winner, and genius. That's, that's me. Okay, now hopefully if these horizontal wedges work, that means I can place posters at the back here, ah, which I can. Thank you very much. And then we can also add some fairy lights at the back here to make it nice and cozy. These lights kind of just remind me of Christmas, like the whole Christmas aesthetic. Okay, this is looking pretty cute. One thing we need for our bedroom as well, wincy, wincy bedside table. You know what we're going to use for our bedside table? The little toddler beds because they are literally tiny and they take up like the least amount of room, which is exactly what we need right now. Okay, perfect. And then we'll just 
just add a lamp. Oh, wait, no, I can't add a lamp because if I do, it kind of comes out of the tent. Well, that's annoying. Okay, well, we need a, like a big overhead lighting up here. Actually, we're going to do a little build hack. Ready? Building hacks with Alaska. Beveled cylinder. Resize said cylinder. Put a box cube in the middle. Another beveled cylinder. Put it in the middle. Make it out of flowers. Another vertical cylinder. Boom. Bam. And then using the transform tool, you can place this on the roof. And just like that, we've got a custom light. See? Is that genius or is that genius? Also, would we be able to fit a fireplace in here? <laughs> oh, I mean, kind of. That is not safe. If Bloxburg was realistic, this tent would be up in flames right now. I want to make a multi-purpose table. So we can use it for like a dining table, a console table, a storage unit. You know, one of those like three-in-one shampoos? Like that, but it's a table. Okay, then this way we can have an ottoman at the end of the table. <laughs> this house is going to make no sense. And a TV. Wait, can we put a TV on here? Oh my gosh. All that just so I couldn't fit a TV. Are you kidding me? I guess instead of a TV, we can have a laptop. Because that kind of counts as a TV. And it also like does the same purpose. So you know what? There you go. Well, I mean, in that case, there's really no purpose for this table. I think we're just going to use a few of these desk organizers also because this is a beach home we need to have some beachy aspects so we'll have some seashells that's it <laughs> i love how i'm like guys we need to have beachy aspects to this home and i just add seashells okay i think that's it for my bedroom you're probably like alaska where's the living room you want to know where the living room is we're gonna put an ottoman right there that is our living room Personally, I think that's the most luxurious living room you've ever seen in your life. Okay, now for the thing that we've all been dreading, the kitchen and the bathroom. I feel like the first thing I need to do is separate this little section here. That way it just like separates it a little bit. Okay, so I've got our first wall, kind of, not really, but kind of, you know, it's got the spirit. Now for the bathroom, firstly, we need the toilet, which is going to go there. You know, when you're like in the middle of doing something and you're like, I have no idea how I'm going to make this work. That is me right now. Okay, you know what? We're not actually going to add a door here because like who needs a door? You can just take a poo with the view. Can you stop staring at me, you weirdo? Guys, I don't think we're going to be able to add a shower. I just realized this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Unless we have the shower like on this pole. I'm looking at the pole right now and I'm like, wait, that could potentially be turned into a shower. Ready? Boom. I mean, you're definitely going to be showering inside of the toilet, but that's that's besides the point, all right? Oh, we also need a sink, but where on God's green earth are we going to put this? Also the kitchen. Look at this. Oh, no. You know what? Who needs, who needs an oven in their kitchen? There we go. We've got a fridge there. Wait, I'm a genius. Hold on. Fridge on top of cube and bring it down. Oh, uh, okay. I think that is the smartest idea I've ever done. Technically, half of the fridge is underground, but who's gonna know? It just looks like one very small fridge. And then this way, on top of this, we can have like a toaster. This is definitely the most funky looking house transformation I've ever done. You know, we'll also have some fruit on the bed just in case, you know, we get snacky. Also because we don't have any kitchen supplies, but what? Okay, we've got a fridge. We've got a toaster. What else do we need in the kitchen? We need a lot of things, actually. You know, we're gonna have a little cup custom made island bench. Now we just need some dining chairs and oh, these chairs are too big. So guess what? No chairs. If you want to eat, you can just eat on the floor. We need a sink. I just realized we need a sink. Everyone was yelling at me before like, Alaska, you didn't add a sink. I'm like, y'all, I did not have room to add a sink. Okay. I know this is technically cheating because it's outside of the tent, but we're going to have the sink out here. Okay. Shh, you see nothing. Maybe we can extend this and have a little porch. <laughs> and I think that is our house. We do need curtains at the front though. So we're just going to use some semi-transparent cylinders to act as our curtains. And I don't know why, but I feel like the front needs a little bit more structure. I want to make it look like there's curtains coming down. You know those like luscious curtains that just flow? Alright, mate, what is this? What is this? This is what happens when I try to be creative, okay? I love how there's literally absolutely no privacy for this toilet. Okay, well this simple tent house is done and comes to a total of $64,000 minus the pool. It's probably only 20k. You know what, from the outside it actually looks pretty relaxing, except for the fact that it's just like a toilet. Now function wise you can use the toilet however your head you know, sticking out of the tent. And there's also absolutely no privacy but it's fine because we get a nice view and we have the shower oh my god this is actually ridiculous like what is this i mean it works doesn't really make sense but i mean it works and then over here we've got our very very tiny kitchen we just can't cook anything in the fridge so what's actually something we can make without cooking oh okay absolutely nothing got it okay you know what if we're hungry we can just have some orange juice and i mean there you go you can just live off orange juice and you're fine y'all this is such a tight squeeze it's not even funny like this chandelier is just in my head like can you move mate get out of my face okay we've got our bedroom here the bed it actually turned out pretty cute um I, guys i don't know how to get out of here oh no i'm stuck 
I'm stuck. Okay, let's see if this bed works. Wait, low key, the bed actually works. I don't know what's happening with my face though. It's um, I feel like I should be concerned. Okay, well, I think the final test to see if this tent house really works is to go on a public server and be a rich Bloxburg mom. So let's go. Oh my gosh, why is there absolutely no one on this server? Like, hello, ABC for rich Bloxburg mom. Oh my gosh, we've already got someone. Hello. Hey, I like your outfit. It's pretty cute. She's like a little mushroom. Are you the real Ala? Oh my God. I don't know who Alaska is. I'm gonna see if this tent really works. Oh, her name's Indy. That's so cute. Okay, well, this is my new child. So, um, welcome to your new house, Indy. I don't know who you are. Hey, don't break in. This is my house. I know I don't have a door. Okay, go inside, Indy. She's looking around, guys. I think she's a little bit concerned. Indy, this is your bedroom. Look, you have a really big, spacious bedroom. Go away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Guys, don't look. Guys, there's literally someone using my toilet right now. I don't know who this person is. Okay, well, I think Indy likes her new house. Still don't know who this child is. But yeah, that was me turning a simple tent into a house in Bloxburg. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Looks like Indy is enjoying her new house and I will see you in the next one. Bye!